Veronica Chevaniak here with Fearless Cooking. Welcome to my channel. Today on the menu we're doing a Hanoi Vietnamese fish dish called Cha Ca La Vong. It's been around for hundreds of years and it's a total classic dish. If you ever go to Vietnam, you must try one of those. Anyway, it's quite simple. We have, in this case, it's usually a white fish, a river fish in Vietnam, but we're using red snapper. I just happen to have that. And we're going to make a marinade. We're taking a couple of spoons of sugar, some fish sauce, of course. Anything Vietnamese has fish sauce in it. And we're stirring this up. Put a little bit more in. And then we're using a few spoons of turmeric. The main ingredients, the fish gets all yellowish. You could also do this marinade ahead of time, but it's really not necessary. You just want to give the fish a great flavor. I'm going to put a little bit more of the turmeric in. And then the next thing we're going to do is put some yogurt in, a couple of spoons of yogurt. It smells fantastic already, and we're not even there. Beautiful color, as you can see. Now, I hope you have a mortar and pestle. If not, you should have one. I have here some green onions, where I use mostly of the white part, and some garlic. I've got about two cloves of garlic in here, and now I'm just gonna get rid of all my anxieties and stress. Just pound it down. Pounded it to a paste and added this here. We've got the garlic and the green onion, or actually more the white than the green. And I'm also going to put a little bit of ginger in it. Just give it a little oomph. And to top it off, a little bit of lime juice, which is an essential part of Vietnamese cooking. And all this lime juice to offset the flavor, get basically the balance going here. I'm going to give it a taste test. Mm, delicious. A little bit more fish sauce. Beautiful. One more. Two more. This is just plain yogurt. No flavor. This is actually Greek yogurt, which I cook a lot. Now we're going to cut our fish. Just I'm going to use some larger pieces. There's only two of us. And I'm going to marinate this. Turn it over. A lot of people are marinating this for several hours, but it's really not necessary. It's such a beautiful uh, marinade. It doesn't need much. We're going to fry that out in a few minutes. I also have here some uh, vermicelli, uh, a rice noodle soaking that is getting served with, with the fish. And of course we need the dill. It is a dill dish. I'm just gonna put a little bit in there at this point. Mmm, smell it, it's delicious. Next thing we're going to do is we're gonna turn our frying pan on. If you have a a non-stick frying pan, that would be great. I don't have one, but it's very important that you get your frying pan hot. It needs to be very, very hot before you put the oil in. And of course, the fish in as well. This is just about ready. We're putting our oil in. You don't need a whole lot of it. Just want to make sure I cover the bottom of it. And as I said, it has to be really, really hot. Very important. So if you use your chopstick, and you put your chopsticks in the middle and the little bubbles forming on the side, then slowly they are starting to form. That means our oil is hot enough right now. So now we're taking our fish. Oh, that's too big. In a few minutes, we're going to turn it over. It takes about two minutes each side, not even. If you were to have skin at the bottom, that's perfectly all right. As I mentioned, usually it's a white fish and a river fish, which is kind of hard to come by. You can use a sea bass, which works really well. But you can do it with any kind of fish. It's not a problem. 
just about done. I have a little bit of fish stock here. Make a bit of a sauce. You can use also prawns for this dish if you wanted to. It's a lovely fish. And now we're going to put our dill on top. So we have our noodles. And now we're putting our fish on top. The smell is fantastic. The flavor's all in there. It's a very unique dish. And now we're gonna give it the sauce. There you have it. Chaka Lavong. My spin on it. A little bit westernized, a bit more simplified. But if you should be traveling with Chow Down Vietnam in the future, back to Vietnam, where we conduct tours, this is part of our tour that we take people. And we're going to over a hundred year old restaurant that hasn't changed much. That's the only dish they have. And they come on a cooker in a large frying pan and the fish is in there and the noodles on the side and then you can also put some more fish sauce on it and it's just absolutely delicious. It's a unique experience and I hope you, in, you will experience that one day. If you enjoyed this session, please give me a thumbs up. That would really help me to become YouTube sensation and remember to be fearless in your kitchen.